Do you live in the area? Yes, yeah. around the corner. Okay. What's happening yeah. here? So, basically, what's happening here is uh, they're building a temporary training facility, basketball court, and it's for the Olympics. Local people have started blocking lorries about two weeks ago. The guys from Occupy came down last week, and no work has taken place since a week ago Friday. Um, so they, they've done this so far. What I would encourage you to do is, even if it's a two-line email, send an email to your councillor saying, we've been through the marsh, we're not happy with what's happening, can you give us assurances? Ask them whatever you want to ask, yeah? Because I think the strength of feeling that we've experienced has been overwhelming, really. So, I mean, it'd be great if you could do whatever you can. Uh, you know, leave a comment on the blog or whatever. Okay, okay. Cool. thank you. Nice to meet you, all right? Okay. Have a good day, enjoy the sunshine. Bye. Cheers. Of course, I, you've got my last one. Oh, great, lovely, thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Enjoy the sun. <laughs> There's been a local campaign group called the Save Leighton Marsh Campaign Group, um, which are local, made of local residents and have been campaigning for a number of months about this development here on the marsh. They say that it's not going to change the status of the land and be sold on after the Olympics and it'll be returned to as new, but they haven't drawn up an exit plan. And, and uh, people just don't trust the authorities anymore. They don't trust, they don't trust them. We've had like 65-year-old, 70-year-old uh, old, old ladies and, and, and blokes kind of stopping their traffic going through here now for about uh, three weeks. And, and because they couldn't fill all the, the slots to stop the traffic, they asked, came to Occupy and asked, were occupied to help out and so people heeded the call and have come and helped out and we've managed to uh, uh, stop it now for five days and and really this is uh, being here for five days I've talked to all the locals and really here is a sacred space everybody does use this area and it doesn't matter whether you're rich or whether you're poor and uh, and, and, and it's truly living the ideal you know um, of everything for everybody and they say that so, look, I mean if you just look they've, they've really damaged the environment and it, we don't know how long it will take to get back to normal um, and you know all public but everything seems to be up for sale nowadays and, and you know at the very least we need to protect our green public land so that everybody can use them and everyone can be around nature because it's a learning experience as well as a joyful one you know it opens people's eyes to what's possible <laughs> The whole of this site, after the Second World War, um, rubble from uh, destroyed buildings that were bombed during the Second World War, war were, was brought in probably small lorries and, and, and dumped here. An emergency situation, I suppose, in the, in the Second World War. Um, and so a lot of rubble was put here, which is understandable, because they just needed somewhere to put it. And then it was grassed over, and this ever since has been uh, a piece of green land. All the people from all around here come here and come here for centuries. Um, but obviously, in more recent times, with the building of London, um, and probably especially since the Second World War, when there's been even more building, this is one of the, the last really great pieces of open green space uh, in uh, London, especially the east side of London. Um, and uh, personally, I think mean, that's a tragedy that they do this. It's just, it makes absolutely no sense. Some of those chimneys or brickwork has been laced with asbestos. Asbestos is not dangerous if it's underneath the ground, but one particle of it in the lungs or one fibre can cause death later in life. Now these mounds of rubble are there exposed. If they contain asbestos, that asbestos is being released into the atmosphere. Now we know for a fact that this five samples were taken on this site. Three of them contained highly hazardous levels of lead poisoning. 
and already a World War II bomb has been exposed, has been uncovered and had to be removed. Mistake. They've yeah. made a simple mistake in choosing this, and they didn't recognise because the, the decisions are made up in Canary Wharf. Actually, the meaning and the sacredness of this land to be, yeah. you know, it is. It's sacred. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, public, the community, the taxpayer, are paying yeah. for to have the land co-opted yeah. from them by the Olympics, which they're paying so, for as yeah. well. Yeah. It's, it's a bit of a joke, really. They still kind of work away here. Or Pardon? No, 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 no. We're stuck for we're stuck for nine days, yeah. you know, ten days. Yeah. Yeah. But they're ahead of schedule anyway, because they started yeah. building before their actual time was yeah. contractually. Yeah. They were allowed to. Yeah. Uh, possibly anticipating, yeah. I guess, campaign groups like oh, local yeah. residents who would be very, very, very yeah. upset and distraught yeah. at this happening. The reason why the community are turning to turning, turning to us is because because they're not being listened to, yeah. because their yeah. will isn't being represented in yeah. Parliament or, or in, in, in Council. Yeah. People feel like they've been screwed left, right and centre, and now it's their public spaces. Yeah. Tell me what, what the rich man or the corporation has sacrificed for, for this Olympics. Are they paying for it yeah. or are they getting the contracts? Yeah, the yeah man, we've been eating like kings. They've been treating us like kings here. We've got a bunch of wine. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. They've, they've been, like I said, like I said, we're not, this, we're not just making this up. Yeah. This ain't just some, some wild goose chase we're going on. Yeah. It's, you know, you've got all your seasonings. Yeah, yeah, they treat us very well. Yeah. How are you getting on? That's what's been really nice about yeah. it. It's, 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 it's been very uh, nice and smooth. Well, you boys and girls have a good day. Take care. Make sure you don't catch a cold. It's okay, guys. It looks like the end of the fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, lobsters to start. <laughs> After the bit lobster beast, we're going to go for uh, I think a shoulder of lamb, uh, followed up by sorbet. Uh, the only thing is the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So do you know when these guys are going to get evicted? Pardon? You got any uh, tips when these guys are going to get evicted? We don't get told that our end of the scale. We're only the lowest of the low. Were you guys been here since the start, or are you part of the um, the Occupy that came up when when they asked for help? I live in Leighton. So you're one of the local residents? Oh, I'm one of the residents, yeah. I'm furious. Hey. Now, what gives the Olympics the right to you know, tread all over my rights? It's a total farce. They're taking away all of our annual leave. 
all of our days off for the summer, so I, I do feel your pain. Yeah, you know, you'll be buying your own uniform by the end of the decade. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the riots. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? This is brand new today, what do you reckon? Our new fleeces. Is it, is it, um, is it ecological it? and organic? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry, but I don't ask those questions. Are, are you Why not? You should. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I've supposed to be knocked down I've said it so many times. 50 years ago, was it, or something? Yeah. After the Commonwealth yeah. Games? But... Yeah. This? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 28 years ago. It was only temporary, though. No? Yeah. So, a couple yeah. of years, I think. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, oh, look, very, it doesn't look very temporary. That was temporary, yeah. 28 years it's ago. It's horrible, I Commonwealth think. Games, isn't it? Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screaming. But it was a national emergency. I mean, you know, if you can't have a big sports day, you know, I mean, like every, I mean, you just put your pension up, right? I mean, how much do you pay into your pension? Fifteen percent. Uh, it's not quite as much. It's, uh, it's, it's new, though, isn't it? Yeah. Fifteen <laughs> percent. I mean, you're doing a service to the good people in the country. Thank you. you know, I and, like yet, to think so. and yet you have to pay fifteen percent. It's all a myth. It's got nothing to do with the Greeks, mate, or the Italian crisis. <laughs> this is the government screwing us all over, like that. 28 years ago, oh, well, it's important, it's the Commonwealth Games. Commonwealth Games, no one watches it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll leave you guys in peace. These don't move. I'm only here to protect these gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Do the job. That's all we're asking. Yeah, don't worry about it, gents. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry? Yes. In the High Court of Justice. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
any dignity that we do have. <laughs> yes, we don't want to see all the loss of these trees. We do not want to see next a fucking gap and all that. Okay, gather round for the meeting. What are the, um, if I could ask the campers what they're feeling about what happens after the eviction? We had a few discussions, but like something that was raised yesterday is because we don't really know what will happen yeah. in the eviction, it's hard to, to know what, like to have an actual plan really, like because. I mean, they might come down and, like, I, it's just difficult to know. Like, if they came tonight, for example, um, they might just do, like, a, a mass arrest or, or, or put us in such a position that we felt we just, you know, well, we're going to get dragged off, you know. And, yeah. um, but, I mean, sir, like, if, if we're still here in the morning, then we'll be outside the front at 7 o'clock <laughs> yeah, in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll take it from there. That's the we'll best I can answer. There. Done tomorrow on that side of the ice rink we thought where it's much more visible uh, with banners and, and if the lorries come you know at least we let them know that this is not something that the community supports this, this whole thing and if anyone feels compelled to stand in front of a lorry at that moment that's <laughs> up to them uh, purely up to them Go the other I side, think we yeah. need to have a different approach as to have some people actually on the front line yeah. and other people a bit further back monitoring what's going on yeah. because yeah. everybody gets swept in and then there's nobody to witness. Just remember to, to be calm and, yeah. and, 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 and the decisions which people make um, have been done knowingly, you know, so, so not, not to worry too much. So okay. Good. definitely one of them from the bank of ideas. So you've seen this bailiff guy before? Yeah, I've seen some of them before. So I got back on the rooftop and uh, I was hiding from him. Everybody, can you move back a little, please? Can everyone move back for me, please? It is common land. How can anybody need to be moved back from common land? I don't think you should. Oh, 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 I'm 
circulation in his left hand. Oh, imagine that. Oh, help and safety, please. Help and safety, guys. Slow down. This is Get this one now, please. He's got a man. They're walking up there, but this truck's going to come on in a moment. It's going to be literally... <coughs> <coughs> oh, the, uh... well, they think it's either one. So, Christ, look at this area as well. It's like stopping the truck from going, right? Only a bug on the roof, Tom. Only a bug on the roof, Tom. Only a bug on the Yeah, I'll have a number 69, please. About 20 metres back. I'm the chief police officer here. I've now told you that what, you, what you're doing is a public assembly, and as a result, you're intimidating others because if you compel them not to do something they have a rightful act to do. That means they cannot go to work and carry on their day job. 
I've therefore asked you for a second time to remove yourselves and to place yourselves 25 right, metres done. to my right hand side where the police will facilitate your lawful protest. <laughs> yes, and support you. you will facilitate. If I fail to do so, if I fail to remove, you are therefore breach the condition under sections 14 of Public Order Act 1986. Have I made that quite clear? Made a promise. Okay, I'm now going to give you another five minutes. The five time, minutes and counting. The time is 10 <laughs> you hear that? Eight. Do you hear that? Five minutes. Okay. Next time next is now. Time I will then nine forty-eight. Yeah, you you, you, you got until nine fifty-three. Superintendent, you can you can resign and join us at any point. The judge had basketball tickets to the Olympics. They also scared off all the local residents who have assets with three hundred and thirty thousand pounds court costs. You are nothing. And damages so no one would stand they're financially intimidating people and it's the people who are paying for the elections they're also paying for the upkeep of this land for open use for the public whether you're rich or you're poor really really there are lots of alternative places where they could build these basketball facilities. Instead, they've decided to do it on this bit of land, which is really treasured by the local people, mainly because most people around here don't have gardens, and they have a, they have a hard grass, and they need a place to go and walk and chill out and relax. So this is their garden, and they need it to stay sane. They're coming in, guys. Be strong, no violence. Don't fight back with violence. If people don't have, have pieces of land like this around here, they will go mad. They will actually go insane. You leave your hands up. Leave your hands up. Stop. 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 Excuse me, madam, I've spoken to you once already. Can you please move back over today? Thank you. Are you gonna are you gonna stay with the camp? Yeah. You're gonna help look after it? Yeah. Oh brilliant. Take care. Il est nécessaire que la jeune génération et même en général les citoyennes et citoyens de nos pays démocratiques se rendent compte euh, <coughs> qu'il y a des obstacles hein, à ce que les valeurs démocratiques soient vraiment reconnues. Ces obstacles, il faut d'abord les nommer, les, les, les indiquer et ensuite essayer de les combattre. Euh, ça se combat par des mouvements dans la rue, par des protestations euh, non violentes. Nous insistons beaucoup sur l'importance d'une action non violente. 
mais d'une action déterminée pour que les gouvernements comprennent que s'ils ne changent pas assez fondamentalement leur façon de diriger leur pays, ils vont se heurter à un refus de toute une partie de la jeune génération.